Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to FishMD, the show where we explore the depths of science and health-related topics. My name is Michael, I'm a medical doctor and your host. You probably remember the movie Limitless, and if you don't, let me introduce you to this masterpiece of Hollywood cinematography. The movie's hero is Bradley Cooper a rather unsuccessful writer that faces unemployment and difficulties with his girlfriend. Until one day he receives a wonder drug that dramatically enhances his mental acuity. You know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? This lets you access all of it. Actually, science shows that we do access 100% of our brain's potential. But why am I ruining my introduction? Let's continue. I was blind, but now I see. A tablet a day, and I was limitless. I now had cultural appetites. Since when do you speak Italian? I finished my book in four days. I like to renegotiate my advance. Math became useful. From 12,000 to 2.3 million in 10 days. I'm baffled by this guy. So, Eddie Mora, you do know you're a freak. What's your secret? Medication. Get ready to enhance your brain's power like never before. And who knows, maybe you become the next Eddie Mora. It will definitely come in handy during your next salary negotiations. Let's first talk about the secret substance in general, as it is one of the most abundant substances in our body. It is rich in foods such as leafy greens, nuts, seeds, dark chocolate and whole grains. Yes, you guessed it right. We're talking about a good old magnesium, but not the one everybody and their grandma seems to get from the 99 cent store. Worldwide, up to 50% of our population is magnesium deficient. And science shows that our ancient Paleolithic hunter-gatherer societies had a magnesium uptake of 600 milligrams a day. Nowadays, the daily recommendations for magnesium uptake in the US are 400 mg for men and 310 mg for women. But what they actually get from their diet is 320 mg for men and 220 mg for women. All over the world we lack magnesium. Why is that? Reasons are manifold. It starts with an increased use of proton pump inhibitors which people nowadays pop like candies that do decrease the magnesium uptake from the stomach. It continues with an increased excretion of magnesium in the urine by an increased use of diuretics. Then we live in a day and age where the delivery of fast food is just a click away on my cell phone. And the more processed the food item is, the less magnesium it contains. Finally, the most important reason for our magnesium deficiency is that our food has less magnesium than it used to. Soils are mostly fertilized with nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, which compete in the plant for uptake with magnesium. Consequently, there is less magnesium in our cereals, fruit and vegetables. You probably think that a magnesium deficiency can simply be diagnosed by taking a blood sample. Right? Wrong! False! Only 1% of our body's magnesium is circulating in the bloodstream. The rest is stored in muscles, soft tissues and bones. This makes measuring blood magnesium levels a very unreliable method to determine our magnesium stores. The most reliable methods are a muscle biopsy or a magnesium challenge, where you receive intravenously magnesium and later determine how much of it is excreted in the urine again. Sounds easy, right? To sum it up, magnesium deficiencies are most often underdiagnosed by doctors and to diagnose them solely based on symptoms is very challenging because the symptoms are very unspecific and overlap with other minerals and vitamin deficiencies. Fun fact, especially for our stressed out viewers. During stressful times, such as an exam, we have an increased excretion of magnesium in our urine. That's why during those periods it might be wise to up your magnesium intake. 
One potential benefit that starts to gain traction is the use of magnesium to enhance our memory and our brain's neuroplasticity. When we talk about neuroplasticity, we mean our brain's ability to change, to adapt and to grow new neural networks. The problem with oral magnesium supplements is that its absorption from the gut is terrible, meaning the majority is excreted again. You could argue now, why don't we just take more magnesium tablets then? Yes, you guessed it right. Magnesium high doses has a strong laxative effect. Even if we get a more expensive magnesium with a better bioavailability, meaning the absorption from the gut, most magnesiums don't enter the central nervous system. And to enhance our memory, we need something that works directly in the central nervous system. So, we need a special kind of magnesium, introducing magnesium threonate. Magnesium threonate differs from other magnesium supplements as it is able to enter the central nervous system. MIT scientists were among the first that studied the effects of magnesium threonate on memory in young and old rats. And the effects were astonishing. Independent of the age group, the rats supplemented with magnesium threonate had a much better short and long-term memory. The reason for this memory boost seems to be an increased density of nerve endings in the so-called hippocampus, the area of the brain responsible for memory and learning, and also in the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for problem solving and creativity. You may say now, experiments on rats, or fair and square, but does this work on humans? There is a trial on healthy individuals that receive magnesium threonate supplementation as part of a double-blind, placebo-controlled study, meaning neither the researchers nor the participants knew if they were getting the magnesium threonate or just a dummy pill. At the beginning of the trial, study participants underwent cognitive tests to set a baseline score for their momentary memory level. After initial tests, they took a magnesium supplement or a placebo for 30 days and repeated the initial tests. Astonishingly, everybody in the magnesium threonate group performed much better the second time they did the tests, whereas the placebo group did about the same. Overall, all age group performed better on magnesium threonate. However, the older the subject, the better the performance on magnesium threonate. Very impressive. There's a second trial where they basically tested the same thing, meaning the effect of magnesium threonate on cognition and memory. But this time the study participants were older, between 50 to 70 years of age, and also suffered from pre-existing cognitive impairment, sleeping disturbances and anxiety. Keep in mind, we're not talking about healthy folks here, people. This time, the study participants took a placebo pill or the magnesium threonate for 12 weeks, not 30 days like in the other study. The groups were then given cognitive tests at baseline and after 6 and 12 weeks. What I discovered was that subjects on magnesium threonate supplementations were able to improve their test scores significantly from baseline and at the same time had less fluctuations on their overall cognitive abilities. Another important aspect is that subjects that started out with the greatest cognitive impairment at baseline had the biggest effect and biggest improvement on magnesium threonate. Personally, I've been taking magnesium threonate for two months now. The first time I heard about it was on a podcast of famous neuroscientist Andrew Huberman. Click here to watch it. In the beginning, I was taking it before going to sleep and the effect was that I was dreaming more vividly than before and the next day I was able to remember my dreams, something that I was not able to before. Something I was not very aware of though is how much what I see before going to sleep affects my dreaming. I remember the time I watched a movie about riots and for the whole night I was tossing back and forth in my sleep being chased by an angry mob in my dreams. But the majority of my dreams on magnesium threonate have been pleasant though. The other thing I notice on magnesium threonate supplementation is that I'm able to take a workout much better and suffer less muscle soreness the next day. 
This effect I never experience on magnesium citrate or other magnesiums. I recently also started taking magnesium 3 nate during the day before important bouts of work. And I feel that I can stay more focused and concentrate much better. You know the feeling when you are in a zone, the feeling of total focus. As I am a doctor, but not your doctor, I cannot make a specific recommendation for you if it is safe for you to take it. Especially patients with kidney problems can quickly overdose with magnesium, so please consult your doctor before taking it. For the rest of us healthy people, there are probably no safety concerns. There you have it folks, magnesium threonate. Give it a try if you want to feel enhanced like Eddie Mora. My name is Michael, I'm your host and I hope I left you smarter than I found you. Thank you for watching, until the next time.